So I've been looking into natural ways to improve and possibly regrow hair. And I came across this interesting study that uses tea tree oil and claims that it significantly improves minoxidil. The theory was to use in combination with minoxidil, dichlorophenic and tea tree oil. Dichlorophenic is a non-sterile anti-inflammatory drug that helps relieve osteoarthritis pain in joints and also treats age spots and sunspots on the skin. Tea tree oil has many benefits that include uh, antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, and antiparasitic. Also prevents and treats infections. Hey, welcome back health nerds. I'm your host and your nerd, Stephen A. Allen. If you hadn't yet, please smash that like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below. This is a free way to support this channel. Today's sponsor is Celgenics Liver Regenics, hosting eight of the world's most regenerative superfoods and also enhanced with plant stem cells. Now, if you would like to know more information about today's video topic or the supplement, it will be listed in the description box below. This study used 32 men between the age of 18 to 30. They split them into three groups. Group A was the formulation, group B was minoxidil alone, and group C was placebo. They applied twice a day to the affected areas for 32 weeks. Hair count, thickness, and hair weight in the targeted areas of the, of the scalp was measured and photographed. What resulted was Group A significantly had a superior response than Group B or C in terms of hair count, hair weight, and overall thickness. I also found a study that had rosemary oil versus minoxidil, 2%, a comparative trial. What the study had observed was that in three months there was no difference in either category, but in six months there was a significant amount of hair growth in both the minoxidil and rosemary group. I would also try to mix them both with um, castor oil because there are some studies that say that castor oil helps with hair growth as well. If you want to know more about the benefits of using castor oil for hair growth, check out this video right here. So it got me thinking, how effective is minoxidil? What I found is in a one year uh, observational study, 62% of 984 men using 5% minoxidil reported a reduction in hair loss. As for regrowth, the drug was rated as very effective in only 16% of participants, effective in 48%, moderately effective in 21%, ineffective in 16%. Now this tells me that minoxidil is hit or miss, whether or not it's going to help you regrow hair seems quite slim. To avoid all the negative side effects that you would get from a product like minoxidil, like the possibility of increase of hair loss, burning scalp, swelling face, and ED, just to name a few, I would try using some of these oils first to see if there is any significant difference. Now stay tuned. I am going to put some of these oils to the test. I will have a video on the effectiveness on my personal experience of these oils. So th that video will be coming soon. That includes this video today. Thanks for watching guys. Remember knowledge is power, health is wealth. See ya.